Now we have seen how to add the Microsoft 365 add-in into our Excel Word and the PowerPoint and we have also seen how to sign into our system. So after you signed in, you will land on this kind of a screen. Here you have only the card templates from your different modules. So I have filtered out the OPEX model card template. You remember we have created two, three modules while we have created our basic to advanced course. We have filtered out only the OPEX model where we have these six kind of card template. And you also know how to create our card template. So if I have to show you, if I go to my, this is the new UX where we have created this dashboard for the department of planning and this is the reporting dashboard and here I have created the few cards and here you can see we have the six card templates here which we are seeing here so we can only import those data here which are present as a card template so let's say if you want to show this grid data so you have to first store it as a card template otherwise you won't be able to import the data into this at some of the word document at the powerpoint so this is the first step you have to do you have to first store it as a card template now we will to going to talk about like let's say first let's import this data click on the sexual service so here you will see two options import data and the import image so the one thing to consider here is you can only import data if that card is based from the saved view not from the custom view so you also know that we have two kind of views we can either create a custom view from on our dashboard or from a default view so you can see failed to retrieve data because we are using the actual sales value from the default so if I click on here you can see I am creating this from the custom view so this is the website nonify.com and here you will find the advanced and open courses for that you have to click on this courses here you can see we have three and plan courses and plan basic to advance and plan extensions and a package and we will throw one along general plan for it so from here you can have your plan journey click on this yeah you can see here we are creating this from custom view so that's why we can't import the data there if i go back here instead we can what we can do is we can import the image if i click on this import image let's wait for this to reload so we can't import this you can see we cannot insert data from a custom view so if I click on this import image, we can import this image. If I click on this insert image. So this will just insert that image of that data. So let me wait for this. Look, I inserted the data. If I go out. So you can see, this is the data which we have there in our actuals. This is the data. It has taken a snapshot of it. Yeah, this is the data which we have here. So this is how we can like insert the data into the this Excel from the our dashboard. And now let's go to the Word document. So I want to show you a minute difference here and the rest of the things are same. Let's see if I want to import data here. So in case of Word document, the PowerPoint, you only have an option to insert the images, not the data. So this is the only difference between the Word document and the Excel. So if, let's say here you can insert an image, but not the data. We don't have an option here. Similar in case of this PowerPoint. If I click on this actual values. So you will see here we have only option of inserting an image. We don't have option to insert the data. So from the next lecture, I'm going to work on this Excel because here we will have both the options insert import data and the import image. And the import image work for same for this document as well as this PowerPoint presentation. From the next lecture, we will see how to import the data from the custom view, like from the default view, because we can't import the data from the custom view, and how to refresh it. So I'm going to only show those values which I have tried. And this is like a new thing, so I'm constantly improving this Microsoft 365 add-in. So if let's say in future some new things will add on, so I will create an updated lecture on those. So till now, I will show you only those things which I have tried into this and I plan Microsoft add-in.